Okay, so welcome to my turn on the DNA Day Tripper series and we are here very locally because obviously we're still under COVID restrictions uh, and I'm at a lovely complex, only about seven miles from my house called Cudmore. I'm sure many of you have heard of Cudmore over the years. It was a very famous match uh, orientated fishery, fishermen it used to be here, but of late it's gone more carp. The match, the match traffic seems to be declining, so Edward, the owner, has taken this on board and realised that obviously carp is where it's at. So loads of little lakes on here, but obviously people locally very much underestimate this complex. They think it's just full of two and three pound carp. Well, it's not. I've been fishing a lake just behind me called Milo, which has got some absolutely amazing fishing, which for this sort of feature, quick days, quick in, smash and grab, blah, 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 perfect. So already, uh, I'm trying to be quiet, but I'm getting a bit excited. Uh, I had a couple of fish from very close in here. They feed them here when it's warmer, and obviously it's rock hard. It's quite a little deep depression, uh, and I had a couple of fish from here the other week, only two weeks ago. Uh, one of my friends come in here, had a fish from here. So we started here, it's right next to the man. We only literally fished in the edge, put a bit of bait in. We had a little trout, there's some rainbow trout in here as well. Um, there's trout and carp, a very strange mix, I know, but obviously that's the owner's choice. So we're going to give it about half an hour here because I had a couple of bites down the deeper end a couple of weeks ago as well, around this time. So we're of the opinion that if you're not getting line bites pretty quickly or not seeing any signs of fish, they're probably not here. So the barrow is loaded, we're all ready. So should we see anything, we can just bolt. If we have a fish here, we may stay here a bit longer, but we'll keep you posted how the day progresses. But I am absolutely buzzing for this. And, you know, there's been a lot of people moaning out there on social media, they can't go night fishing. Well, we can still go fishing. This is a very, very fortunate position for us as anglers so we're making the most of it and I for one I love days I think I actually work harder fishing days trying to get on and trying to catch one that's all I want was one bite so we've got them out they're close in let's see how the day progresses I'm absolutely happy myself. So as you can see, we've had a quick move. We actually caught a little rainbow trout that is the few in here that Edward the owner likes. And we caught that up the other end in that, in that shallow bay. And it created just loads and loads of disturbance. And I think it kind of wrecked the spot. And I just presumed this was the area the other week in the deeper water where we caught a couple really quickly around this time. So I said to Ollie, let's wrap up, well not wrap up, the barrel was sort of loaded. And let's get down here. Oh, there he is, that's a carp, that's not a bloody trout hole. Um, and we've had a bite after half an hour, which is tending to what I'm finding on this lake, that if you can find them, you can get bites pretty quick, which for day fishing is absolutely perfect. So we've gone in with no bait down here. My uh, neatly planned bucket of mesh bags so I thought I'd step outside the box this winter so rather than just me me normal little crayfish mini mix I've just been using the maxi the maxi mix which where the pallets are a touch, a touch bigger so they don't break down as quick with some uh, some 8 mil s7 and before you the haters out there start saying oh you can't use a fish meal in the winter of course you can just don't use as much of it. I thought you might be. Bang on 18 and a half. Which for a quick uh, half an hour move, we'll take that, won't we? It's all right, Ollie, he doesn't speak. He's a mute cameraman. <laughs> Clean fish, look at that. Oh, now how can you be disappointed with that? It's the 2nd of March, everybody's doom and gloom about not doing nights. Well, why do you need to do nights when you can come on here and catch these in the day? 
absolutely perfect. Little milky mole. I've got a little bit of pink goo on them. It's something I've been trying uh, for a bit now. Just extra attraction in the winter. I think they're sight feeding. Uh, and like I said, during the fight, little bags of 8 mil S7 and some maxi pallet. Don't get any simple. Put no baiting down here because obviously we're fishing a bit further out. Deeper water, half an hour, 18 and a half pound. That will do very, very nicely. Lovely, lovely carp. Right, we're just going to talk about the rig uh, and something else that obviously you'll see on this rig that's a bit different uh, and only because Ollie keeps laughing at me while I'm using him. Uh, but it's a standard German rig. I'm not going to bore you to tears because I'm sure I've bored you to tears enough with it over the last few years, but I don't change it. I just don't change. It's, it's still a size four hook. It's still my little pink wafters or my little milky malts with a bit of goo on. Still, it just works. So as much as I try to look at different rigs that are out there and think, well, is that going to benefit me anymore? And then I put this out and I just keep getting bites. So I just don't change. So the vital important elements about this rig is the visuality about it. Now, you might ask why there's a dirty, horrible, or some of you might think it's a dirty, horrible pink lead there by my right hand. Well, they are my favourite sort of jazzed up milky malt wafters that just catch me car from anywhere I go. Um, it's, a, it's just a given. It's the, it's, everything that I'll reach for, I just grab them first, especially in the winter. And on lakes like this at Cudmore, that are very murky, there's a hundred fish in this and four and a half to five acres. So it's not, you know, it's not 2,000 fish here where you can just chuck them anywhere and catch them. You've still got to kind of work for them a bit. But on these dirty waters, what I call dirty waters that are murky, I think they side sight feed in the day. So I was just thinking about, you know, I've used bright pink up baits a lot with me little mesh bags of pallet. So why wouldn't I use a pink lead? because is that going to aid where it just grabs the fish's attention a bit more than just having one tiny little bit of pink? I've got a three and a half ounce pink lead there. So if that attracts them to the spot, then I'm quite happy about that. I don't mind using that. Now, like I've said to Ollie, I probably wouldn't use that if I'm fishing for tricky fish in the edge in crystal clear water. I wouldn't be using a fluorescent pink lead, but for these commercials in the winter, where I think they sight feed, perfect and i've had some really really nice fish this winter uh, would i caught them using a green lead of course i would probably but i'm confident in them now so it's just it's a bit like the pink up baits i reach for them first in the winter and every winter now i'll be, using, I'll be reaching for these pink or white leads that they're using i just find it really really visual and that's what i want so obviously onto that size four this is preparation beyond belief as ollie's just said so I've changed it up a bit slightly. I've already mentioned I've sort of just played around with a bit more of a substance. So once the bag has busted open, rather than having them tiny little one and two mil crayfish mini mix pallets, the maxis are all a bit four, five, some are six, different sizes, a bit more substance. So they're going to take a bit longer to break down. Then when they're all mush, I've got some little eight mil S7 in there. Now, yes, it's a fish meal. A lot of people wouldn't use a fish meal in the winter. I haven't got a problem with it at all. Again, it's confidence. I'm confident in the S7. And if you're going to use a fish meal in the winter, just use a bit less because it's not as digestible or it doesn't break down as quickly, you know. So that's what I would say. I mean, obviously, come the spring, I'm going to be all out and out on the bug. That's the new thing for me. That's what I'll be using on my campaign waters. But when it's quick, smash and grab bites like these little winter day trip sessions, pink up baits, pink leads, and loads of pre sort of prepped mesh bags, always a winner. Okay, we're going to have a little move. We haven't seen anything, but it's probably been an hour since that fish. And we've had no more line bites and I've been flicking them around a touch just to see if I can find any, any fish. So we're going to move opposite on the sort of the back of the wind. There's a little point over there. And I know in that little bay, which is to the right of that point, it's quite shallow. So I can hit the shallow water and still hit the the deeper water too um, because 
I think on sessions like this, we had quite a few hard frosts over the last few nights, even whilst now it's warm, well, warm, nine, eight, nine degrees, um, I would expect to see something. So it may be that they're just holding in the eddy off that island. Um, and at the end of the day, we've only got any gear. It's minimum gear, it's all on the barrow. So it's, it's no hassle to just walk around and, and, and chance it for an hour. You can just do this on these short little day sessions. It keeps you active. Rather than sitting there festering in your bivy like you would on a 48 or a 72, these day sessions, like I said earlier, you can, it can sort of encourage you to make work a bit harder at your fishing. You've only got a set amount of time, so you want to get a bite if you can. Yes, we've had a bite, but I do think there's other bites around the lake. And what I've found from this particular lake is if you're not getting line bites or you're not seeing anything, you know, it's, it's as good a rest, it's as good a chance as another as a rest to have another move and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the other side, we probably will end up back up by the van on that little hole, I'll put that bit of bait in before we left. Um, the trout obviously disturbed the swim, <laughs> so we thought we'd make a run for it. So we'll probably end up back up there on the shallows just to see, the sun's trying to poke through, so that first bit of sun on the shallow water, that's going to make it a couple of degrees warmer. But if we have a couple over the other side, that'll be us for the day. We have to be off by four o'clock at the latest here, the complex closes back up at four, so we'll fuzz these two rods in, get the stuff on the barrow, off we go. So there you go, quick move, quick little bag of S7 and the maxi pallet, he's going to kick off because I got him in pretty quick. And there we have it, just over £15, one of the new stockfish, how can you grumble at that? The sun's out, the nights are getting longer, but I'm loving these winter day sessions. So it's class, actually classed as spring now, now we're just into March, but uh, yeah, just over £15, quick bite, this is what the day fishing is all about, in, out, smash, grab, gone, let's go back. Bosh! <laughs> <laughs> So it's looking like it's not going to be three out of three and by that I mean three moves and three fish. We've basically come back on the back of the wind after we had that one that was just over 15 out that shallow bay. Just couldn't seem to make a bite happen on that left hand rod where they were fizzing so we've come on the back of the wind more of a hunch really to try and just get another one before we go. I thought two was alright but obviously I always go oh, we just need one more. So obviously he's put pressure on me to get another one so we've moved on the back of the wind it's so much warmer, as you can see, no coat. I've even had the glasses on earlier looking for fish and it just looks dead. On the basis that when we've moved before, we've had a bite within half an hour, we've been here an hour now, so I think it's done. Um, but and it's coming up to time now. They close, they close the gates here at Cudmore at half past four, so it's, it's four o'clock, so we're, we're done. But it just goes to show, there's so many lakes on this complex at Cudmore. You can just basically turn up, you've got Tari, you've got Avoca, 
there's Milo, there's lots of different lakes where you can get bites from the stamp of fish that we've had, lots and lots of fish from the sort of 18, 19 pound to 23 pound bracket, which is perfect at any time of the year, let alone when it's cold this morning like it has been. To get a couple of bites on a little day tripper series is absolute perfection. I've loved it, I really do enjoy this day fishing off the barrow. It makes me more aware, it makes me want to try harder because I've only got a short amount of time. So just get out there and embrace it. You know, I know lockdown is coming to an end, hopefully by the time this is aired, but you're still gonna have time. Even adopt this attitude, even when you can night fish. I know lots of guys that can night fish all the time, as in when the lockdown isn't on, but they choose to day fish because it makes them a better angle. So it's definitely another side of my fishing that I, I'm missing out on where I'm more aware, or maybe sometimes you sit in your bivy and you can't be bothered to do something where, on a short day session, you've only got a certain amount of time. I think you get a bit more enthusiastic and a bit more, your work rate goes up basically. But yeah, to get two bites, great, absolutely great. I love it here at Cudmore. So, so I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope you've picked up a few things. The basic, the main thing I've taken from it is work rate. Keep working, don't be afraid to recast. Just little bags sometimes can just be enough to get a bite. Don't forget the pink leads, by the way, just for, for always basis. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the bank soon for more day tripping fun.